and uh, it's like in mint condition. That one is. Yeah. So how much do you think you paid for that one? How much I paid for it? Yeah. Maybe a dollar. Okay. And how much is it listed for? Oh, uh, between twenty-five and thirty. I'll call. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's about right, right? Okay. What else this you got one, there? This one is a fossil. Okay, fossil. Okay is very much sought after if okay. it's the right style mm -hmm. and because this is the the woven leather with the wooden handle mm -hmm. it is uh it would be a good one people would would like will like it okay and uh so and it's got the floral interior and uh yeah it's really cute okay what's next nice size not too heavy right kind of summery mm -hmm. Um, Let me slide over this one. This is an unusual bag. It is a. Yeah, it's a Thrifty Ranch, I think it's, or Trinity Ranch. Trinity okay. Ranch, yes. Okay. And it is um, embossed leather. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, all embossed flowers and it's got the the closure Big is magnetic buckle it's magnetic okay. and the buckle is also embossed um flowers Ooh. and it is a cross body so got it. it's very beautiful yeah and we'll tell them list it for you think um probably around 35 between 35 and 40. Okay. And here's an unusual one. This is Vera Bradley leather. Mm -hmm. It's a, a kind of a soft green leather. Mm -hmm. And because you don't see very many Vera Bradleys that are leather. And it's got a floral interior. Okay. And very spacious. Um, very clean. Those like roses. Roses. Yeah, those are pink roses. Nice. Okay. And again, it's a crossbody. And what does a Vera Bradley and leather go for nowadays? Um, this one will also go around between 40 and 45. Okay. And where do you buy out most of your inventory? Um, I like the Denver factory outlet. It it works for me. Yeah, I, the I Goodwill enjoy. bins? Yes. Okay, got it. Um, let's see, this one I believe is a fossil. Another fossil like I do have oh, quite it is. a few. Yep. I have quite a few fossils mm -hmm. because they are popular. People really um, look for them. Mm -hmm. And this one has a, a flap. Mm -hmm. and um, It's real heavy. So like pebble leather, it you call is it pebble, maybe? This is pebbled leather, exactly. Nice brass hardware. Yeah. And um, there's your uh, keyhole. That's their signature. Mm -hmm. uh, fossils signature, I should say. And of course, another crossbody. And here we have uh, Rebecca Minkoff, um, and it is, um, I forget what this fabric is called, but Rebecca Minkoff is a very sought after as well, sought after uh, brand. Mm -hmm. And it is small enough to carry comfortably. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is very, very light, it can be very light because you can't put a whole lot in it, mm -hmm. but just uh, big enough to carry the special stuff that every lady wants to to have in their mm -hmm. handbag one thing i noticed about this is the way they took the time to finish the edges yes because they usually cut those and then they had to go back and put an extra step to to make it look like that pink right so that's pretty neat i yeah. think that would be a this sign one, of quality this is an orange this is, is an it? orange it looks uh, pinkish the, the trim is in because of the lighting here yeah. but it's it's an orangey or tangerine colored mm -hmm. yeah and here is a vintage coach. This is very vintage. I've um, sold a leather vintage coach for good money. Yes, they do. Yep. Um, um, vintage coach sells for quite a bit. Mm, vintage leather. So. That's nice. About 12 inches, something like that. Mm -hmm. What do you think that one goes for? Oh, God. Where do you have it up there for? Um, I don't remember, but I no. would say probably 50. Yeah. And, and some I've had... I pick up a lot of vintage coach, mm -hmm. and and I've gone as high as seventy five. I mean, I've, I've mm -hmm. I have so. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to leave the description or my mom's store link in the description box below, 
so that you can go and check out all of her inventory, all of her purses, everything she's got going on. She's been reselling full-time for the last, going on four years now. And she didn't start until she was like, you know what, I think I want to do that too. So if you've been thinking about it, hemming and hawing about it, there is no reason to not start doing it, right, Mom? Absolutely not. Don't waste time. Get started. It's uh, it's easy. It's fun. It takes a little bit of work, but it certainly pays off. And here is the beauty of all beauties. That's really sweet. This I like is it. soft, real soft uh, leather. It is a vintage. Um, what did I say it was? Maybe this is one of those, yeah, it, it, during the 50s, they did not um, include the the names on all the purses. They didn't mm -hmm. have the um, creeds nor anything to show who the maker was. Mm -hmm. So this one does not have, it has the kiss lock here. Mm -hmm. It has uh, the tan suede, mm -hmm. which is... <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's really a, nice. that tells you that it is vintage. And then the little pockets are all lined in um, gold uh, satin. Almost. Gold satin. It is yeah. gold satin. Uh huh. Huh. That's sweet. And this one would will go for anywhere between 140 and 100 or 150. Dang. Nice. What's this thing here with the spikes? I thought it was a Vince Camuto, but I didn't know if they make shoes, but. Anytime I see spikes, that's the first thing I think of. Definitely, Vince Camuto does make uh, shoes with spikes. And this particular one is a Sam Edelman. Okay, gotcha. And again, it is black leather. Got that herring moon design. And it's unusual. The, the style, the size is really, really nice. Very small and dainty. And, and yet you can put all your necessary essentials in there. Mm-hmm. Um... Here's another fossil that tells you I like fossil. Mm -hmm. um, there's another nice fossil, and this is called an organizer because it has the um, place here where you keep all your mm -hmm. credit cards and your you uh, phone and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. Nice. Nice and roomy in there, and you've got... Um, Three your pocket. center, your center yeah. zip, yeah, uh, and and then again, it's magnetic closure, and then you've got more storage, and it's got the lock and key, which is um, the signature for fossil, mm -hmm. but not every fossil handbag has these. Yeah, um, and there is your next your pocket, extra pocket on the exterior of the bag. Mm -hmm. Um. This is not anything special. Um, I want to show you this particular one. Oh, it's careful. It is a... Lockhart. And if you look up Lockhart, you'll see that this is a very, very special handbag. And it retails right around $345. Hmm. And uh, it's got so many pockets so many pockets so it's got these two in front it's got um these open up mm -hmm. and then in there you've got so many um okay, let's go slit pockets let's go over here a little bit so we can get a better look on the inside okay it's got the slip pockets several of them oh, okay which that's what these are mm -hmm. hmm and then it also has a nice uh, mobile or phone pocket here. Mm -hmm. And it's a crossbody. Nice. And it weighs about three so, pounds. <laughs> it weighs two, about, good two yeah, and a half, three yeah. pounds. And uh, it's also a shoulder bag. So if you, wanna, if you want to uh, remove the, oops, the crossbody, then mm -hmm. you can just use it as a shoulder bag, which is a lot easier to get. Well, either way, it works. Mm. How come they call a shoulder bag if you hold it by the handle? Because you put it in the shoulder. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I learned something new. And this one is super interesting, too, because it is made of genuine 
100% buffalo leather. Huh. Wow, it's really and, stiff. Yeah, and this one will never wear out. I'm sure. And it's just a satchel or a tote. No. No there's side no pockets, pockets, nothing. There's, okay. no, there's nothing. It's a tote or a satchel mm -hmm. that you would carry maybe your stuff uh, for a getaway weekend or whatever. Mm -hmm. hmm. Is there any markings on it? How do you know what um, it is? There are no markings on it. How do you know what the leather is then? Because I, I did my research on okay. it, so I know it is. Gotcha. Yeah, now research is key because mm -hmm. not everything's going to have a stamp, a mark, or something. That right there. All right. That's awesome. And then you have more down here. Uh -huh. These are all shoulder bags. Um, this particular one I like. It is another getaway bag. Um, you know, a lot of people like to travel during the weekends. They don't want to take suit a whole suitcase. And women want to go and put their essentials carry their essentials with them. Mm -hmm. So this one, I believe, is Wilson. And it's it's leather mm -hmm. as well. Hmm. So if you want to travel, you put your mm -hmm. ID in here, a pocket there, hmm. lots of pockets in there. Sounds nice. It's got a, snake, a faux snakeskin print. Yeah. It's cool. Faux snakeskin satin. Gotcha. And it, see, in there it is Wilson. Wilson leather. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, sounds like good leather. It's all creaky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just gonna back up and kind of show people how. Oops, show people how you're doing it here. Mom's got all her purses lined up here, here. She's got her totes here, totes here. Got totes here. We just set up these shelves here so she could put purses shoes and shoes eventually she's got our toes lined up she keeps everything down low because you know she can be lifting everything up heavy and stuff like that so and then she keeps her little boxes all jammed over there and then right here we just lowered these they were high up in the air and they were kind of tilty so uh, we took everything off after we put these together took everything off lowered them all the way down and now they're pretty stable or they're as very stable compared to how it was. Do a little bit of tape, so if one goes, it all goes. And it's not going to, it's all, it's good to go. Here I found another fossil that oh, is oh very different. Okay. And this, it, even though it's a fossil, it is coated. The, it is a coated material. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, man, it's like most weather. of the time you'll find a fossil is leather. Yeah. But this one happens to be coated with some kind of... Yeah, that's weird. Huh. So it's different. Yeah. And cute because... It's got the, a summer theme, you know, birds and right. people will like that. Yeah. Um, this one is not, it's kind of lost its popular, lost its popularity, this one. It is a Vera Bradley. Okay. Um, and again, it's kind of unusual because it has a kiss lock. Uh-huh. And it's a shoulder bag. It, it's not a crossbody. Right. But um, some people still like Vera Bradley. Yeah. Huh. Well, I know my daughter Paisley loves Vera Bradley. She likes the crossbody ones because they, A, are washable, and B, there's a lot of prints that come in her name, which is Paisley. So, yeah, she likes that print and uh, the, the functional functional aspect of them. What's this transparent green looking thing here? It it's is, like a piece uh, of candy. It's, a, it's nothing special. It's nothing oh, special, not. but uh, it's pretty, and uh, sometimes... People will go after off brands, not very often, but it's still unusual. Yeah. Huh. I mean, if a person doesn't know and if you don't care about a brand, you're just looking for a look, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so here. It's like a big go. green Jolly Rancher. Yeah. Look at this one. This is a Lily Pulitzer. Okay. See this? And this is like from mm -hmm. the 50s. Okay. Uh, 50s to 60s mm -hmm. and it is this is what we carried <laughs> mm -hmm. and this is um, what do I want to say what do you call that um, corduroy corduroy like. yeah yeah kind of a corduroy but the print mm -hmm. for oh oh also the important part is these buttons come off mm -hmm. so that you can wash the the bag mm -hmm. on both sides and people like that in my day mm -hmm. and uh the print itself is very 
sought after. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the way they could tell it's an authentic Pulitzer is this uh, palm tree that's right here on the, mm -hmm. on the wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that very clear. Very cool. Okay. And so this one can go as high as 150, possi possibly even 200, depending the right, find the right buyer. Right. Someone who had it when they were a kid and they're like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I need to have that. Mm -hmm. There's not very many. of Those are rare. Those yeah. are rare. Huh. Um, do you want to cool. look at the Tanella? Sure. What's the Tanella? Okay. See, if this cat right here. I'll just zoom in. Yep. That cat is a Tanella. It's a Tanella. T-O-N-E-L-A. And it is um pottery okay and it's made by um you know people that yeah that make pottery period right. but uh tanella is is popular people people that like pottery they go for that kind of stuff Got so it. this is one of them mm -hmm. and then up there the other one did you point out which the, one the vase the front one or the back one the front one okay this one is also a tanella okay I see kind of a theme. It's got like a, what do you call it? Sandstone or what do you call that? Um, Not sandstone. Um, oh, like it, it has bits yeah. of sand in it. I Something. think that has a sandy look. Yeah. I forgot what it's called. And it's all hand painted. It's just like the same stuff that um, M.A. Halley is. It's, uh, the name escapes me. Anyway, very cool. And is it always animal themed? Um, no, oh. no. So, um, you'll find some that are just all floral, mm -hmm. but, um, but you will find a lot of more, I would say the majority are, um, animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pottery. And then here's them. Thomas Kincaid little jewelry yeah. box. Yeah. Huh, that's really neat. Oh, wow. Huh. Too bad you don't have one of those open. I know. But you can still, she can kind of show and talk about it, though. <laughs> I wish I could show this. <laughs> this is a dessert plate uh, from a group of, or a big setting that we found, my daughter and I found, um, at the um, Denver outlet. And it is a replica of the dishes that were used during the Ming Ming Dynasty, mm -hmm. and and it's a tobacco leaf pattern, mm -hmm. and they are very, even though they're replicas, mm -hmm. they're still very rare and super high priced. Mm -hmm. One plate can go as high as two hundred ninety five to three hundred and fifty wow. for one plate, just one dessert plate. And all of them are already prepackaged. Go no, prepackaged. Okay. And well, they're shipping off. How many today? Two? We're shipping two. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Which is a total of how much? Mm, I believe... You know what? I'm not sure how much Crystal actually... Um, listed them for? I'm sorry? How much you actually listed them for? Um, I don't know because she's in charge of that because that is high dollar. So right, she, right. she handles that. Yeah, that's good. So my sister, she just spoke of Crystal. She is also a reseller. And she also has a YouTube channel. She is uh, 5280 Thrifting Queen. Queen. Yep, 5280 Thrifting Queen. I'll leave the link in the description box below for her as well. So we are a family of resellers. Mom and I and my sister. And now my wife is 150% in on it. While I was down here in Colorado, she was up there going to thrift stores and looking at all kinds of stuff, buying some stuff and listing stuff. So it's been cool. Uh, we put our store on a five-day handling and it hasn't really seemed to affect us a whole lot we're still moving product definitely um i've got like 16 to ship when i go back and my wife has been shipping all the stuff that has been able to go in the poly mailers and the light stuff and so forth so she's kept the ship afloat while i've been gone down here and uh it's been fun i'm gonna miss everybody but i'm gonna be back soon i'm already planning my next trip back so thanks for tuning in guys i appreciate your time and i will see you in the next video Thank you.